it can get a tad bit overwhelming when trying to survive the Houston traffic. And can you imagine what the clutter is going to be like for the big game? Uh, oh my gosh, it's going to be so insane. It could be a mess yeah. if you're unprepared, folks. Exactly. Here to help us handle the traffic and find transportation alternatives during the big event is James Lamas. Welcome back to Houston Life, James. Hey, James. Great to be here. Okay, so let's start with parking. And we've had you on the show before. We know you're a big fan of the train and the bus. I've actually ridden the bus with James. So much fun. He knows it like nobody's business. Oh, he does. I'm assuming that your first parking tip, though, is try to avoid driving a car. Yeah, well, Kevin mentioned some of your options if you do decide to drive into downtown for some of the festivities. Uh, park west ahead east, know before you go. Uh, but your best option might be to leave your car at home and uh, try out a new mode of transportation that maybe you don't usually use. Now, what about people who don't plan ahead, though? Like, let's say people just Last jump minute. in their cars mm -hmm. and they're driving toward downtown. There are some street closures that people need to be aware of. Yeah, that's right. A number of streets are going to be closed around Discovery Green and in front of the Toyota Center for about, a te for about 10 days uh, before the Super Bowl uh, to accommodate all of the events going on down there. So let me ask you this, what is being encouraged to the visitors? Like, what are, what's the message that's getting out? Like, what you should do, where you should park, like, you know, park west to go a certain direction, or what's going on with that? Yeah, that's right. As Kevin mentioned, uh, there are people who are driving downtown are being encouraged to park west to head east. There'll be three different shuttle routes uh, running that are free to get people from the various parking garages around downtown over to the events around Discovery Green. But of course, you might not even need to drive in at all uh, Metro operates the three rail lines as well as numerous bus routes and park and rides that can take you from any part of the region into downtown for those types of events. And we are going to get into those rail lines and the bus lines too, but just briefly before we leave the parking, I mean, this idea that you can go and park at the game is not really it's that realistic. Though. And it's crazy oh, expensive, yeah, for right? Sure. For the game itself, parking on site is starting at $100. So uh, you might want to look at uh, some of your other Uber. options. And <laughs> even the closer lots that are blocks and blocks away, those are, I hear, $30. That's not cheap. Be, yeah. OK, great. So let's move on then to the bus lines and the rail lines. How can people plan their own strategy for getting in? Sure. So Google Maps is a great place to start. If the, any trip that you're planning, if you just toggle over from the car directions to the bus directions, it'll tell you exactly what to do, when to go, and when that bus is coming. You can even buy your ticket on your phone nowadays. Uh, Metro has its uh, Ride Metro app um, where you can buy your ticket and just show it to the driver and you're good to go. So I'm thinking that it's going to be super crowded, right? It's going to be super crazy. But I'm wondering if Metro, if they're going to add like different services to kind of help accommodate like all of the people that are traveling here for the big game. Yeah, they've been preparing for this for quite a while. We're going to be welcoming a whole lot of visitors to Houston. Oh, yeah. And so there will be uh, a couple of additional, additional bus routes, um, express routes running from the Galleria area where a lot of the hotels are located into downtown all week for uh, the events downtown. And then from the Galleria area, uh, to the game on Sunday. Uh, there'll also be later service on the rail lines. They'll be running past midnight um, throughout all of the events. And um, the, the shuttle routes downtown for getting people around. And this isn't just for something for people who live near downtown. I mean, folks, if, if you're thinking about taking the bus or the train, this would actually be a great reason to do so, even if you live in, let's say, Galleria area, yeah, where sure. we are now, right? Oh yeah, the easiest place to leave your car might be at home. And the other thing they're trying to remind people is the way you get to the event doesn't have to be the way you get back. It could what? be you decide to bike into the event and put your bike on the bus on the way home or take, uh, take the train there and Uber home. You know, you don't have to stick to that, that same mode for your entire uh, journey that day. And then there will be shuttles, right? Because I know like for Ken and I, when we do like different things downtown, sometimes we will park like in Midtown mm -hmm. and then we'll just hop on the shuttle, not the shuttle, but we'll hop on like the rail. So I'm wondering, are there shuttle options in Midtown to kind of commute downtown? There'll be three different bus shuttles in downtown and another one in Midtown to help people get around to all the different uh, Super Bowl related activities. Now, you mentioned uh, riding a bicycle. Is there anything that people should be aware of if they plan to do that, or even use one of the bike share programs? Sure, so Bike Houston will be operating a bike valet. So if you ride your own bike into the uh, downtown events, you know, down the bayous or, or the trails, uh, they will valet your bike for you and keep it in a secure place and have it uh, ready when you're ready to depart. Uh, 
Houston B-Cycle will be opening a new station uh, for Discovery Green. It'll be the third one in that area, so if you want to pick up a bike from any B-Cycle station, any of the other 30 stations around uh, the central areas of Houston, you can ride downtown, check it into a station, and they'll have staff there ensuring that bikes are available when you're ready to check one out and head home. And is that uh, what uh, Mayor Sylvester Turner is doing, the ribbon cutting? Yeah, the mayor's going to be cutting oh, the ribbon on that station on the 23rd. So I know that we talked about like some different streets that are going to be closed off around Discovery Green. Are there going to be any road closures that we need to know about that's going to impact the whole flow of traffic for Super Bowl? Most, uh, most agencies that handle road construction are planning to button it all up. Uh, before the Super Bowl comes, but there will also be some closures around uh, Energy Park to uh, accommodate the game on that Sunday. And you mentioned the app that you use is the Ride Metro app, so if you have a smartphone, we can all download that and right. uh, help educate ourselves. James Lamas, thank you so much. We're out of time, unfortunately, but thank, thank you for all your tips. My pleasure. And to catch this segment online later, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. We're